Happy Christmas Eve, everybody, and the 10th and 11th shaves of Christmas today on Barber Dave Shaves. <laughs> Again, uh, Merry Christmas Eve to everybody. I hope everybody made it uh, safe to wherever you were traveling and you're with family and friends in front of a roaring fire, sharing lots of libation, lots of food, and just uh, ringing in the uh, Christmas uh, season tonight. And are you watching a special movie? Uh, one thing that we always do around here is we watch It's a Wonderful Life and have some fun. So anyways, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. So the I was trying to catch up. So today is going to be the 10th and 11th days of Christmas, so I can finish this out on Christmas. And as far as the memory stuff, uh, we're pretty much done. Um, as far as the soaps I have, and like I said, I don't have a variety of Christmas soaps. So we're bringing back the uh, soap that I really like, and it really fits... Uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, and I'll be shaving with this again tomorrow. Probably the same exact setup, maybe a different razor. But I'm using Noble Otter, Tis the Season. And this is just, like I said, this is just a beautiful artwork. Noble Otter always does such a fantastic job. And this soap uh, basically is Christmas. Um, everything that's in it, um, with the pine, the evergreen, the balsam, cranberry, mistletoe, it's all in here. And it's just wonderful. Very easy to lather to get where you want it. And we will be doing the straight razor shave today. And um, although I don't see him very much anymore, uh, my favorite brush maker and a real good friend, Eric Sorrentino with the Corleone, the perfect uh, brush. Uh, for Christmas as well. And then for the razor, which has been stropped 30 and 60 on linen and leather, we're going to be using the Trident. Uh, this is a 6 8 but it had some greenish and some reddish tinge to it, so I figured it was like Christmas. So let's go. I know many of you will be having a white Christmas. In fact, looking at the uh, weather channel, it looks like some people are going to be in blizzard conditions, so that's not good if you're traveling. Here, we uh, it's going to be cold and cloudy. The incredible storm that dumped about two inches of rain on us, unfortunately, was a little early. And so now it's just cloudy and cold. And very rarely uh, do we have a, a white Christmas in the Tucson area. Uh, we've had more up in the mountains, you know, up in the hills where we live. But still, I think the last one we had was, well, we had one in 83. We had one in 71, I believe. I can't remember. And then one in 87. Our, uh, you know, we usually get three to four snows a year uh, where I'm at. Uh, but they're not snows in, in what you would call snow. I mean, we get maybe one to three inches and that's gone by the next day. But for us, that happens usually in January and, late, and early February. Uh, we also hope that Santa brings you everything that you want. I know that this year, for some, 
uh, is the first year since 20, late 2019. Well, probably 2020. This is the last time or the first time since 2020 that many family members are getting together because of, uh, unfortunately, because of COVID. And then a few people that attempted it uh, had some COVID issues, uh, both in 21 and 22. So hopefully everybody is healthy and um, you're enjoying your holiday with family that you haven't seen in a while. I would imagine a lot of you had uh, Christmas shaves planned for today. Some not, maybe. Some of you may have watched my little Twas the Night Before Christmas parody that I put out earlier today uh, for the shaving cadre. That was a lot of fun to do. And if you do watch it, I am a, uh, a huge movie buff. And I make some obscure, well, some more than obscure references to a, one of my favorite movies. And it could be argued that it's a Christmas movie. But it's a tradition that I've done every year. Uh, since we started the cadre, actually even before the cadre. This time, normally I just type it out and put it up because I changed some things to to make it more personalized. But uh, this year I actually videotaped it. So if you guys get a chance to watch that, please do. And also, uh, while we're talking about Christmas, we are at 1190, so we need 10 more. 10 more subscribers, and we give away this bad boy, the Henson uh, AL13 Medium in this beautiful bronzish color, and it does come with the stand. I'm going to try to find the box. Can't guarantee that, but uh, please subscribe, and I'll once we get to uh, uh, 1,200 subscribers, I will uh, go over the rules of the contest.
This shave is going swimmingly. It's funny as if I look in the mirror, I don't know if you guys can still see that, but believe it or not, that scar is still there. And that was from a, a super speed a few days ago and it's still there. I've, uh, that's worse than I've had with some straight razor injuries. Okay, let's see how we did. Can you want, do you want a belt? We're going to need a little bit of cleanup. Yep, as always. Two little areas, two on my chin and my neck. Never fails. I've been trying to figure out an angle to get to where I don't have to do that. But it uh, doesn't seem to happen. It's funny, the, the buffing. Takes down all those little errant whiskers. But what seals the deal for the, um, the shave is the flat blading. Okay, that's it. So again, we use the false graph uh, trident, uh, very beautiful round edged uh, six eighths razor. Oh, just absolutely wonderful. And the fragrance of this soap just keeps keeps on giving. No alum hit at all. Get cleaned up here. And again for the brush, uh, the Eric Sorrentino uh, Corleone with a um, two-band synthetic knot. Just a beautifully smooth shave. Uh, today we're going to switch it up a little. We're going to be using Thayer's Lemon. Normally I would do lavender for this, but I want to brighten it up just a little bit. let that dry down just a little bit and again for the soap today uh, we used noble otter tis the season and if you see in the light it's just a beautiful foil cap or uh, sticker and just a fun fun soap to use uh, for the aftershave today we will be using that of the same and that's tis the season by noble otter Again, this one has a little bit more cranberry forward, uh, and then the balsam comes in, and the pine in the fireplace uh, comes in towards the end. But just a beautiful, beautiful aftershave. In fact, so much so that I'm going to put a little bit more on. Wonderful. Uh, for our talc today, uh, we are going to be using uh, Yardley Gold for the third day in a row. It just seems to go 
with the uh, Christmassy type fragrances that I've been using. Well, I guess I haven't been using fragrance. Uh, Christmassy fragrances, really, just stuff that reminds me of Christmas. Mm, wonderful. And then, you know, the holidays, I use this more and more, and unfortunately, I'm getting down low to it. But, uh, you know, it's one of my favorites, and that is Penhaligon's Elixir. It just goes with this. Uh, you know, it reminds me, as a good Catholic, it reminds me of Midnight Mass. And uh, just feels like the holiday, to be honest with you. Okay, that's uh, that's it, folks. I want to uh, thank everybody uh, for subscribing, everybody for watching. Uh, I want to wish you and your family, and this includes all my viewers, all my subscribers, all my subscribers and viewers for Drinks and Daves, uh, my partner, Nurse Dave, uh, my good friend and partners, uh, Chad Vargo and Chris Lindsay over at the Shaving Cadre, all the members of the Shaving Cadre. A very, very Merry Christmas. I hope that everything is safe and joyous and you really, really enjoy this one. Um, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. And uh, on behalf of uh, Barbara Dave Shaves and such, have a very, very Merry Christmas. Take care. Mm -hmm.